Tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be showing you how to upgrade the RAM in your Dell XPS 15. I'm going to be upgrading this to 32 gigabytes RAM and there's the RAM. So it's two 16 gigabyte RAM modules there. It's from Crucial. First of all I'd just like to say I have loads of videos on this and no one's made more videos about the Dell XPS 15 than I have. So if you want to know anything about the Dell XPS 15, make sure you check out my playlist on it. When you buy RAM for this XPS 15, you want to make sure you get Micron or Samsung chipped based RAM modules. And the reason is Skylake are pretty picky with the RAM they use and it's been found that Micron or Samsung based chipped RAM modules work best with Skylake. Now this could change over time, but that's how it is at the moment. I'm not sponsored by Crucial or anything like that, but I'd just like to thank them for sending these out so quick. I ordered these on Friday and I got these in Australia on Tuesday. And this is from America. So that's faster shipping than most of the companies in Australia will do. So thanks for being really efficient, Crucial. Now, Crucial use Micron chips because Crucial is the actual retail brand of Micron. Now what do you need? You will need a T5 screwdriver and you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. The Phillips head screwdriver is for the screws in here. Now you wanna make sure you back up all your data. You're doing this at your own risk. I'll show you how I do it. Anyway, let's crack on and get into it. So first we're just gonna remove all these T5s and then I'm going to remove the screws in here with this screwdriver here, the Phillips head screwdriver. So once we've got all the screws off, we're going to lift this off. You may need a credit card or something in here to pry it apart. This has been open before, so this should be easy. This is coming off very easy. Now, it won't be that easy for you if this is the first time you open it. So. Just bear that in mind. We open it up, and there we have all the RAM and that. So I'll just show you here. There are the RAM modules there that we're gonna be upgrading. All you basically do is push on those pins here and they will pop out. SSD that come with it, and I'll put a 950 Pro in, and it flies, so. Now Dell do recommend disconnect your battery when you do these sort of upgrades. That is recommended. It's up to you if you want to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm a bit of a maverick, so I won't be doing it. But it is recommended. Now make sure you've backed up everything. You're doing this at your own risk. And if you're not comfortable doing it, don't do it. Yep. So you pop off both sides there. And they should pop up like that. Take it out. Be very careful. The same should be this one. You might have to just slightly lift it and then pull it out. As you can see there. Make sure this slot here is lined up the same way you had it there. And you want to push that in. Then you just push them. So they're designed to pop in. So what you do is you just make sure the slots are the right way in. Make sure all your pins are in. And you can see there that they're all in. And then you just push them. And they're designed to pop in straight like that. Actually designed to do that. Be gentle. Now, those RAM slots are in. They're tight as. So before you screw it up, what you want to do is make sure it's working. See if I can get this to boot the first time. Okay, and tell you there, I have now logged in to my computer. I, it did come up with a warning saying amount of system memory has changed. And you just say, yep, okay, no problem. And now I've actually booted in. No problems, first time. We'll just check how much RAM we have here and if it all shows up properly when we're going here to I want to go to system okay 
So here's the system and it says 32 gig RAM and 31.9 gig usable. Now it is possible that you may have to change something in the BIOS but I didn't have to and I expect you won't have to too but just know it is a possibility. Anyway guys I'll wrap it up here. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful give me a thumbs up. I have lots of tech content coming soon so make sure you subscribe to see all that. And until next time guys, tally ho.